Our scripture reading today is taken from Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes onto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Our potato harvester broke down, and we had to resort to lifting the potatoes from the ground. But friends came to visit me and help me with the gathering. These potatoes have no fertilizer, just farmyard manure. And the Lord has blessed us with a good crop. What I was thinking about is we all need help. We can't do things ourselves. Even in the gospel outreach, we need help. Help in prayer. Help in going with you on outreach. Help in practical ways. And we appreciate that help when we receive it. In our scripture passage today, we read how the psalmist could say, I will lift up mine eyes onto the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The psalmist looked at God's great creation and realised, I need his help, this help from the Lord. Whatever your circumstance is today, whether you're in hospital with sickness or terminally ill at home, you need divine intervention. The Lord's help. Doctors and nurses can do their best, but at the end of the day, the Lord's help is what's needed to pull you through. Why? Because he's in control of every situation. We must rely totally on his infinite help. We must let go and surrender completely to him and cease from our own wisdom and righteousness. God knows how to lead us to the point of crisis. And also he knows how to lead us through and seek his help today. Lord, I need your help. In Psalm 22, we read the words of the Lord Jesus from the cross. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me and the words of my roaring? The Lord Jesus in agony and blood on the cross cries out for help. Yet no help came. Why? Because he was offering himself up as a sacrifice for our sins. He was dealing with the sin question. Scripture reminds us that this man, the Lord Jesus, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, he sat down at the right hand of God. You don't need to continually offer the sacrifice of the Mass. The Lord Jesus offered himself once for all on the cross. You must rest on what he did for you and finish in the work on the cross. Cry out to him today to save your precious soul and trust him by faith today. May the Lord bless his word to all our hearts for his name's sake. Amen.